Uh, Abby, exciting couple of months, you know, World Cup finishes, you come back, you get a big transfer. How have you been adjusting? Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, now I think, I think I'm doing grand actually, better than I expected. And I thought my body would have been physically giant. It was like coming back from Australia, but I think now I'm kind of just trying to get back into the groove of things. So. Did you know when you were in Australia that this was, this wave was a possibility or did it kind of come up after the fact? Uh, it kind of came up a bit after. I had a Zoom call with Leanne and Laura um, in summer and I was just saying that I'd consider it um, because re- I wasn't really in a rush to go anywhere. You know, I'm still young, I was enjoying my time at Rovers. Um, but yeah, then, I mean, last minute, I just was like, why not? Yeah. What was the main motivating factor for going then if you were kind of on the fence of do I want to rush into this or do I want to stay? Um, I think I was just talking to like my family and stuff, and they were like, it could be, it just a good move to get into like the groove of like professionalism and stuff. Like obviously, I took that step from Shells to Rovers, which was I felt was a bit more professional. And then yeah, I thought I was just ready for the next challenge, and yeah, I just kind of took it. So. Seeing the Canadian play, we're just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I get up as good as she is now. But... Ballon d'Or down the line. <laughs> I hope so. I'm coming into camp. I know you haven't been there all that long, but what sort of, how does it change as your attitude or your approach to coming into the Ireland camp then, or does it really make much of a difference at all? It doesn't really make much of a difference, to be fair. Um, uh, I think I'm just coming in here and I'm looking to enjoy um, playing football and hopefully get minutes against Albania. Um, so, yeah, just going to work hard from here. So. I'm a what sort of conversations have you been having with Eileen and the coaching staff? Because obviously it's a strange situation where you know it's interim for now and someone else is going to come in. Is it just kind of soaking up all the knowledge that they have while they are there? Yeah, obviously it's a new environment for all the girls. I think we're all getting used to it with the new staff and stuff. I think we're just kind of taking it into our stride, really. They're giving us great tips and, you know, they're acting as if they're, like, coaches for a while now. So, um, yeah, I think we're just... Really looking forward to the games. There's a lot of people in there who have been watching this team for a while. I know. I'm yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that she has all of you in front of her and she could actually tell you what she oh, thinks. Yeah. Uh, I love them. She's so funny. How have you said then being away from your family? Because obviously that'd be a big adjustment too. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not that bad because my mum and dad have been coming over um, quite a bit to Glasgow because obviously it's a short flight, which is nice. Um, and I got to spend the night at home with my family as well. So yeah, I'm not too bad. It might kick in soon enough, but <laughs> not, not now. <laughs> and you're in there with uh, Emily Wheeler, is it? Yeah, so she's my roomie, uh, her, so that's good. Keeping an eye on you. She is, yeah. <laughs> How, what's that been like, um, obviously having that, a bit of an Irish connection there, is that? Yeah, it's good. Um, obviously she's in Glasgow as well, so I mean, I've been getting close to Emily in Glasgow, so yeah, it's nice to have her as a roomie. So. Um, I was down in Ring's End the time you came on first time in the World Cup. Were you aware now that like all oh, this was going on, or what was that going like? Um, I did get video sent to me after. <laughs> it was crazy. Like I didn't even realise there was that many people in Ring's End at that point. Um, but no, it was amazing. Obviously, the support I was getting from all my friends and families. There was like friends that I had like since I was younger, and they were there, and I was like, you still followed me. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was amazing. I swear it was one of them, I was turning around to interview people and it was like, oh, do you know Abby? And they were like, Abby, of course I know. <laughs> 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 Everybody's in yeah. down there. Yeah, no, literally, there's some people that know me and I don't even know them. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, how's it going? But yeah, no, it's, again, the support is amazing and I think I'll all, always have that, so, yeah. I'm just, uh, how much do you feel like you was wrong to the world <clears throat> now, obviously you've got the move and stuff like that, but all that experience and everything like that? Um, yeah, I think I've grown grown quite a bit to be fair. Um still I didn't <laughs> which is Funny is great. As a player. No, I know. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> um no, as a player, yeah, I was I think I've definitely matured on the pitch and stuff and um kinda just like the way I play now and stuff is just like I'm taking more like details into how I play and, you know, like getting the basics right and just kind of going with it, you know. There's new positions that I'm trying out as well, so that's obviously another experience that I'm going to have. It must have been a great experience for you to be on, you know, the biggest stage of them all, playing the World Cup and coming on and making impacts mm-hmm. together. I know the results didn't go very well, yeah. but for your, for your own, from your own personal point of view, it must have been great, and that and that's me. Yeah, no, it was literally like a dream coming on. Um, I think it was in front of 75. 
thousand, I think. But it was amazing. Like, um, I think it, when people say, do you know, like that white noise when you come onto the pitch and you can't even hear any of the fans. Like, I thought that was just a myth and it wasn't really true, but it actually was. Like, I could hear every single girl on the pitch, and I was like, that's crazy because I didn't think I'd hear anybody. Because obviously, I was like, oh, they need to like tell me what to do and stuff. So I was like, I'm not going to hear them because of like the amount of people that are in the stadium. But I could, which was which was good. <laughs> I was relieved. And you think that, that now that experience will help you grow even more now, and obviously fetch and move now, so feel yourself kind of excelling as time goes on now. Yeah, definitely. I think it's only up from here. So, um, yeah, definitely gonna try and prove here more in camp, and then head back to Glasgow and hopefully get minutes and improve myself more. Thanks. It, uh, I mean, it's amazing that like at this age you have so many caps already for on and you had so much experience and you know, like you're quite an established member of the squad now like how how has it been seeing the the kind of evolution of the squad even through that time as well from your eyes like how have you found that um yeah it's actually quite good like obviously there was girls coming in that i've been in before but have missed a few camps like for example tyler came in and I've, i didn't know tyler before but yeah it's i'm happy to see her coming in now after all that stuff um but yeah, I, for real, I haven't. Re I didn't think it changed that much. <laughs> I haven't really noticed uh, anything. Um, but yeah, I think we're all kind of the same group. We all kind of vibe off each other and we have each other's back. So. And it seems like yeah, like you say, it's a very tight knit group. And mm -hmm. coming into a new challenge now with the Nations League, how did you find the last window and the experience playing in the Aviva? Like you were saying, Stadium Australia was amazing, but sure, mm -hmm. playing in front of the whole fans is something else to that. No, it was amazing. Like I used to always go to like the men's matches in the Aviva when I was younger, because I literally lived like ten minutes away. But um, yeah, and it was amazing playing there. I was delighted to come on as well, uh, which was definitely another dream come true. And um, yeah, hopefully we get more chances like that. Good to be back in the sold out Tala this Friday as well. I am. I can't wait. <laughs> It'll remind me a bit of Rovers as well. <laughs> yeah. It must be nice as well because obviously Izzy was chatting with earlier how she came in at 16 and then um, obviously has went on since then. And like you being so young as well, being friends with Izzy as well, are you kind of bouncing off each other these ideas? Like, Yeah, um, me and Izzy are, are funny together. I feel like we, we only find each other funny and no one else finds us funny, which is, it makes it better. But um, yeah, when I look at Izzy, I don't even see that she's like 22. I always think she's my age. Um, but. Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing to have such a close friend in camp. Um, it just makes everything more comfortable. And, you know, you enjoy the experience a bit more because you have that someone just there for you, you know. And then being probably on the two younger ones in the camp, do you get kind of minded by the rest of them? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Um, I think they all just try to stay away from us because we always just keep laughing. We're just, we're really annoying when we just keep laughing about things. <laughs> You're <all> busy. <laughs> Doing Benny uh, TikToks on the way to <laughs> stand outside. I actually can. Um, what is it? Sorry. How do you TikToks on the way? Um, yeah. Well, I have to try to get her to do some TikToks. She won't do them with me. She's too shy. Let's do it and see. Yeah. Just TikTok. Yeah, I know.